In this video, we'll learn how to find the distance between two parallel lines. So let's consider two lines. This is line one and this is line two. In this case, both of these lines are on this screen. Both of them are parallel. So we can say that this is the shortest distance between these two. If this is the shortest path, then this has to be perpendicular to both of these lines. All right. So we need to find the length of this path. How do we do this? Let's take any two points on these lines. Let's take one point here and another point here. Let's join these two. We have this blue length. Clearly this blue length is not the shortest path. This purple length is, but as we have seen in the case of skew lines, this is going to be really useful. So let's label this. This is a one vector. This is a two vector line one passes through this point. The position vector of this point is a one vector line two passes through a two vector. And this is not the shortest path. This is the shortest path. Let's also assume that these two lines are parallel to a vector B. So B vector, this is also parallel to B vector. Now we need to relate this blue length with this purple length. Let's assume that this vector a2 minus a1, this vector makes an angle theta with this line. This means that it makes an angle theta with B vector or B cap, the unit vector along B. Now that we have this theta, we can use this right angle triangle to find this purple length in terms of this blue length. Now, if this length is blue, this purple length becomes blue times sine theta. We can use trigo here. So now we can write this in terms of vectors. The shortest path is going to be equal to this blue length is the magnitude of this vector a2 minus a1. So that's the magnitude of this times sine of theta. And what's theta? Theta is the angle between this vector a2 minus a1 and b cap, the unit vector that's parallel to b vector. Another way to write this shortest path is this. We can write this as the magnitude of this vector a2 minus a1 times sine theta times this vector. It's a unit vector. So we can multiply it without changing the magnitude times b cap. And when you see two vectors multiplied and we have a sine of theta with them, this theta is the angle between these two. We can see that we're talking about the cross product. So the shortest path is actually equal to the magnitude of this cross product. This has two vectors. The first one is a2 minus a1 and the second one is b cap. So if we take the cross product of these two and take the magnitude, this will give us the distance between these two parallel lines. And what's b cap? b cap is b vector divided by its magnitude. So we can replace this d is equal to the magnitude of this cross product divided by mod of B vector and the cross product is of a2 minus a1 and B vector. So D is mod of a2 minus a1 cross B vector divided by mod of B vector. So this is the formula that we can use if we have these lines in vector form. If line one passes through a1 and line two passes through a2 and both of them are parallel to B, this is the distance that we'll get. Let's practice this. Find the shortest distance between the lines this and this pause the video try this out okay so r equals to a1 plus lambda b1 and r equals to a2 plus lambda b2 this is the form that we have and if you look closely b1 and b2 are same 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k cap this means these two lines are in fact parallel so we need to find a1 vector and a2 vector a1 vector is this and a2 vector is this let's write that down a1 vector is i cap plus 2j cap minus 4k cap and a2 vector is 3i cap plus 3j cap minus 5k cap. Line 1 passes through this and line 2 passes through this. B vector is 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k cap. Both the lines are parallel to this vector. So to find the shortest distance, we'll first find a2 minus a1. a2 minus a1 is 3 minus 1, 2i cap plus 3 minus 2j cap minus 5 plus 4 minus k cap. That's a2 minus a1. Now let's find b cap. b cap is equal to b vector divided by its magnitude. Its magnitude is going to be two square plus three square plus six square, square root of that. That's four plus nine plus 36. That's 49. Square root of that is seven. So b cap is one by seven of b. That's one by seven of two i cap plus three j cap plus six k cap. Now we need to take the cross part of this and this, and then we take the magnitude. So d is the magnitude of this cross product. So let's find the cross product. That's one by seven, the determinant of i, j, k, 
2, 1, minus 1, and then 2, 3, 6. We can take the 1 by 7 out. This helps us simplify the calculation. So this becomes 1 by 7 mod of i cap times 6 plus 3 minus j cap times 12 plus 2 plus k cap times 6 minus 2. So this becomes 1 by 7 mod of 9 i cap minus 14 j cap plus 4 k cap. And this becomes 1 by 7 times square root of 81 plus 196 plus 16. This becomes square root of 293 divided by 7. This is the length of the shortest path between these two parallel lines.